That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! And thing sucks! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Bill O'Reilly. Yes, sir. You know how you do it. He brings me in. I'm happy about that. That's the shit. <laughs> oh, man, man. So what's going on, everybody? What's up, LOM community? This is Lockout Men back again with another podcast interview for you guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today to the Lockout Men podcast show that's what's up the show that that i just do it all you know what i'm saying but today i am back with another interview another female driver interview women in trucking man women in trucking black women in trucking you know what i'm saying that is what's up that is what's up shout out to the lom community right now because this is being simulcast live um well I am here. I am your host, Lockout Men. Welcome again to the Lockout Men podcast show. If you like this show, man, and if you like the content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. All right? And hit that all button so you can see it when it comes. All right? Now, what I want to do is, hold on right quick. What I want to do is get everything set hold on hold on there we go there we go i always have to get everything everything set for uh for for me to do this kind of do this kind of stuff well in today's episode i have a young lady from youtube yes sir uh, how long you been in the game uh, how long you been in the game so far? i've I've been in the game for a little over three years now. Oh, uh, you've been in the game for you've been in the game for three years. So you came in and uh, you came in uh, two thousand seventeen. Yes. All right, all right. So I would like to welcome to the show the sassy trucker. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you, thank you for coming on. How you doing today? I'm doing good in yourself. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Just uh, sitting here, chilling, waiting for my uh, waiting for my load to come through as always. And now that I got time to go ahead and uh, get this, uh, you know, get this uh, interview out the way that you so humbly forgot. Right. <laughs> how, how 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 could you forget? How could you forget? We've been talking back and forth in Instagram for a little minute to set this up, man. <laughs> right. Uh what's uh what's on the agenda for you today? Well, right now I'm ready for my truck to get fixed and then afterwards I'm probably gonna end up going out with a trainer. With a with a trainer? A trainer? Yes, I'm gonna be um switching over to flat Oh to, I used to haul reefer and drive in. Okay. So I'm gonna try to do new, so Okay. I decided to do flat bags. And you switching over yes. to flatbed, okay? Flatbed gang, that's what's up. That's what's up. I gotta <laughs> give, you a, give you a horn for that one, man. Um, tell the people, tell the people a little bit about yourself. What's your background and everything? Well, I came from a single mother of three, and before I was truck driving, I was a nurse assistant, and I really hated that job. I really did. So I ended up deciding to drive truck, and then once I made that move, here I am now. All right, all right. So, so nursing. That's where. Where are you from? I mean, what's where? Where are you from? I'm from San Diego, California. Oh, okay, okay. How, what was life like coming up in uh, California? Well, life in California. You know, we have the nice beaches. It's one of America's finest cities. It's fun. A lot of things to do there, and it's very good weather. And yeah. Except for the traffic, though. You, you, the traffic you, is 
horrible. I hate yeah, traffic. Yeah, you neglected to say that. The California is the right. only state that I do not like driving in because of 55 mile an hour traffic, man. Seriously. I mean, that could be yeah, I that, hate that, too. that could be the only state that any it, it, not even for a truck driver, but but for but for a regular driver, because I heard that it, it takes like something that only takes like five minutes to get there would take like two hours. Is that true? That sounds about right, especially when there's traffic. Right. Yes, that's true. Are you you still a resident in uh in California though? No, currently I live in Houston, Texas, but I go back and forth from Houston to San Diego, California. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So back then you said you was in you was a nursing assistant. So you yes. you started out in uh you started out in nursing after uh after you came out of high school. I'm going to assume. Yes. Okay. What was uh what was what was your experience in nursing being that you hated it? Well, for me it was just something that I wanted to just get out of the way until I found out what I really wanted to do in life. And nursing I hated it because I don't really like working in the hospital around certain things there. So mm-hmm. it wasn't really a good fit for me. So that's when I looked into trucking and that's what made me really, that's what made me more happy about life. Okay, okay. So being so, you you had to go to you, how how long you had to go to school for for nursing? What was what was the experience? Uh, being what you was a nurse in a nursing home or a nurse in a in a, in a hospital? I was in a com- I was working in a convalescent hospital, a very small hospital, kind of like a nursing home actually. Okay. This. Okay. 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 Yeah. So it was like uh. So it was like uh. So it was like a a small hospital, uh, yes. that you uh, that you that you rocked out in. Okay, okay, right. Um, what was what was some of the duties there? I mean, what was some of the duties there? Because you said you hated it. Checking so much. the patient. Yes, yeah. Checking the patient's blood pressure, changing diapers, feeding the patient. Um, getting attacked by some of the patients over some of the things that I encountered at the hospital. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what made you, <laughs> I, I guess, <laughs> I guess you could get interested in trucking real quick after, after, uh, right. <laughs> after doing that for a while. How, how long, how long was it? Be, how long was it that you was doing that? I was a nurse assistant for, about two and a half years. Okay. Yes, two years and a half. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm trying right. to open up my uh, my chat session right here. And this is just being real difficult right now. Uh, there we go. It's just being real difficult right now. Um, all right. So question is what made you what made you get interested in trucking well it was something that i always wanted to do since i was 18 years old when i was finally old enough to drive i just had to do it because me and my family we would take long distance vacations driving the car from california to florida so at that point i would be the designated driver so i decided that i would drive trucks for a living because i get paid in the Florida country at the same time and i like the fact that i don't have a boss looking over my shoulders 24 7 Okay, that's what's up. Uh, this is not a trucking related question, but uh, one of my subscribers just mentioned about the Cardi B WAP video. Um, right. She she says that she loved she loved the video. It's fabulous for women. I love these women. Women are putting it out there like male rappers have done for years. Uh, a question to you, like I said, it's, it's not trucking related, but you know, it's just it just caught my eye. Uh, how do you how do you feel, and what's your opinion on the Cardi B Megan Good WAP video? Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I love the video. I think they did a very good job, and I love both of them. 
They're one of my group members. Now you don't think that you you don't think that it was it, it went a little bit overboard with the sexuality and everything they did in it? No, because they're entertainers. That's what they get paid to do. Do you? I think they did perfect. Do you think? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. In this, in in in, in your opinion, do you think that? Uh, do you think that what they're doing is uh, acceptable to young women? That's you know that might be seeing that. This is what feminists fought for. This is no, I don't think it's acceptable to young women. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I, I seen the video and very, very interesting video. Uh, of course, I didn't like the part when they introduced uh, that uh, Kardashian chick in it, which I feel why not uh, because man, I mean the Kardashians. I mean they they really known for doing nothing. Cardi B has Kylie Jenner's back. I love it. The 27 year old rapper hit up Twitter on Sunday after fans slammed her for including the reality star in her music video for WAP featuring Megan Thee Stallion. Oh yes, honey. Here's the Cardi T. Cardi and Meg recruited some celebs to make appearances in their video, like Kylie, Rosalia, Normani, Ruby Rose, Mulatto, and Sukihana. There's some whores in this house. Fire, right? So I'm excited about it. Well, some fans weren't feeling Kylie's cameo, so much so that an online petition was started to remove her from the video altogether. As of Monday, it has more than 60,000 signatures. Savage. Fans were quick to compare Normani and Kylie's on-screen time. Normani danced her butt off. There's some whores in this house. And Kylie strutted her stuff down a long hallway. One fan tweeted, quote, Normani did all this and Kylie walked down a hall and opened a door. If that's not a perfect visual indication of black women having to do the most and white women do the bare minimum to get somewhere, I don't know what is. Like, literally nothing. Right. I mean, hell, Kim Kardashian got known for got known for uh, a sex tape with a black man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, the oldest one, Clo what's what's her name? Chloe. I mean, she's known for the issues with her and Lamar, uh, the basketball player, which happens to be another black man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the young one. I don't. I, I forgot the. I forgot the other K. Kylie Jenner. Not not Kylie. Not her. I'm I'm talking about the three Ks. Kendall. Yeah, Kendall. I'm not sure. You know, I haven't heard much from about her. But when it comes to Kim and Chloe and 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 and, and Kylie, yeah, those, yeah. But they they known for nothing. I mean, that's. I don't even know why she was. You know, just for being in the video as a cameo you know i'm sure she got paid a lot of money just for doing that just for walking up and down the 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 hallway for what she did but i mean it's it's to each his own i mean i do like the I, I do like the beat you know what i'm saying i do like the beat so whoever whoever produced it the beat i i like the beat but yeah it's a, it's a wild video though it's a wild video and it's it's very it's now controversial because of because of what's everything that's going on in it though. But let's get back to trucking though. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to trucking. Uh all right, so you um so again, what what made you get interested in in the trucking? What made me get interested? It is I like the freedom. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it's not like a nine to five because I can pretty much do whatever I want when I want and plan my own schedule and plan things out just like that. That's why I like it. And I like the fact that I can travel and get paid at the same time and meet new people and try new food. All right. So where did uh where did you get your lot uh where did you go to get your CDLs? I went to one of the worst trucking schools that they claim. It was here in England. It was okay. <laughs> you said it was okay. What was your <laughs> uh, CR England? Did you did you finish out with CR England as far as the school part goes? Yes. 
what was the experience yes, what was the experience uh with that like how many people how many people was there and how many people was there and how many people that 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 ended up with their license afterwards well we set it out with like a hundred people the experience was bad because not everybody got the chance to get hands-on training with the truck so you would have to kind of shuffle to get in the truck not only that i was the only female one of the only females there in school because back then three years ago it wasn't as many truck driver women as there is now and most people that did come to school that graduated it was about around like 30 people ended up graduating and seven people ended up flunking out oh, okay 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 uh so you got so you got through got your license you was contracted of course you was contracted with cr england how long did that last before you left decide to leave uh cr england it lasted for eight months but my contract was nine months Ooh. So did you have to come out of the pocket with anything? Yes. So you yes. so with eight so with eight months in, well, since you already did eight months and the contract was only for nine, what was what was the balance left on 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 the last month? It was about five thousand. Wait. Five thousand. Wait, that was the balance okay. left on the on the last month? I mean you did eight. Yes. You you, you did eight. Yeah. So they still charge they they still came after you for the full fledged even though that you did eight yes. months? Yes, and that's exactly why they told me not to go to Seattle Eagle. Wow. Uh wow. what was some of the what was some of the experiences with uh CR England during during the eight months? Well, it was a little hectic. Like, I would have to wait for a trainer. I couldn't wait for a trainer for up to, like, two months or possibly three months. And not a trust for trainers because some trainers weren't really responsible enough to train me or I didn't get a good trainer. So I would have to sit and wait a lot. And at the table, horrible. And it was just a lot of craziness going on there. Wow. And trucks are very slow, too. What, what, was, what was the trust governing that? At 55. At or 60. Wait, you, you say 55? Yes. That is... Governor at 55 on cruise control, 60. That's painful. That's painful. Right. Did you, did you go out... Of course you went out with a trainer uh, with CR England. Uh, did you go out with a trainer and another trainee? Was it two of y'all in the truck or was it just... Yes. It, so it was two. It was two of us in the so truck. So it's so all together in the truck. So it is true. All right. the, all together in the truck is three people. Right. How that is true. How did that make for training? I mean, I, I it was horrible. I, I need to know. I, I need to know how how did that make for training? Three people in a truck. How did that work out? Right. Well, the truck that I was in, it only had two beds. So whenever I'm driving, my turn is in the front seat, and then my um, teammate, he'll be asleep. And then when it's his turn to drive, I'll be asleep. So sometimes the trainer, he'll just sleep probably in the um, driver's seat. I mean, the passenger seat, because it's more convenient for him to get a little bit of rest. So that's how things worked out for us. It was actually really, really bad. It was horrible. That sounds we have bad. To sleeping and I didn't always get, yeah. That sounds bad. bad. I mean, like, the, all, all y'all slept in the truck while another person would be driving. That's how. That's that. Yes. What y'all y'all rotate? Y'all right. y'all didn't get into no. We rotate. Y'all they didn't take you to like a hotel or something like that. Y'all y'all nope. y'all rotate. So one person be sleep while the truck is moving, then another person be sleep. While the truck is moving, do the trainer, do the trainer ever drives, or it was this, it was just you and your co-driver, uh, switching between, uh, driving. The trainer drove at night. He drove at night for three hours, only on the peak hours from twelve a.m. to three a.m. So okay, so he, so twelve twelve a.m. to three three hours. So, in the middle of the night, one of you guys would get up to start 
driving? Yes. The train never drives. I drove night shift, so I probably drove from 4 to 11.30. Then my center would take over from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Then my teammate would drive from 3 a.m. to midday or noon. That's crazy. That is that is, yeah, is that is crazy. That's not even comfortable. How would you guys actually? Get, how would you guys actually get some training done? Like, I mean, one of you would be literally sleep. While so I guess one of you be sleep while he's training the one, and then how is that? Got to be uncomfortable for the trainer. It was very uncomfortable. Wow. Wow. I, you know, I, I heard of horror stories like that, that, you know, that is three people, is three people and everything. Janet B says training is hell with two. Can't imagine with three. How did the, how did the, uh, right. how, how did the attitudes, was, was it, was it, was it male, female, female, male, male, female? What was the what was the gender breakdown and what was the attitude in the truck? Um, it was two males. I was the only female. My trainer was more patient with me, but with my teammate, he was more tougher with him. More tougher. Okay. That okay. Okay. So the gender breakdown is two males and a female in a truck. Right. That's correct. When you found out that you was going to train with two males in the truck, how did that make you feel? Well, since I knew one of the males, I felt somewhat comfortable because I already know him and he wouldn't let anything happen to me. So I met him during, I met him during school. So that's how I felt about the whole situation. But it was kind of uncomfortable at, at times. You know, Don Schuler, he just said that doing 55 or 60 miles, you don't even have time to uh, stop and sleep at a hotel anyway. So you you guys right. have to you guys have to constantly keep moving. Uh, before we move before we move yeah. along, you know, did you did a lot of trainers like like to brag about how much they make and everything like that? So is it possible that you could tell us that if the trainer how how much the trainer makes for training two people in the truck, or if you know or not. I think the trainers, I think the trainers is making about anywhere between twenty seven hundred and thirty five hundred per week. A week for training two people in the truck. Yes. So he's getting. That's, the, that's what I was told last time. So he's getting paid for all miles for from the both of y'all, including his miles. And then whatever extra that they giving him to train. Right. Man. All right. That's so correct. so I, I'm I'm sure you I, I'm I'm sure in the truck with two males, it it had to be uncomfortable sleeping. Like you you couldn't even I would assume that you didn't even get comfortable to sleep with with two males in the truck, even though you knew one of them. Right. It wasn't comfortable at all. I never did that again. Wow. How how long was it before you guys uh before you guys finished the training? How how long was the training process? We were on a truck with a trainer a little bit for around two months because it was two of us. We all had to get our hours together in order to graduate from training to get our own truck. Wow. So after you after you uh, upgraded, you drove for you drove for CR England for about another several months later. And uh, what made you decide to just say fuck it and leave? The pay, because the pay was horrible, and the dispatchers the dispatchers didn't know how to talk to people. So I felt like I deserved better, and that's what I found. The company that I just quit weeks ago, I found that company, and I went from there. And I ended up coming to a different company to learn flatbed. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, 
what's uh what, what's it like for you what's what's it like for you to step out of a truck uh at a at a at a fuel station when when the you know when you step out of the truck what what's some of the what what's some of the eyes that you get like you know what what kind of comments that you would get when you step out of a truck well, they act like they never saw a female driver before, and then they get shocked that I'm driving, and they just stare. Like, they just never saw one before. Driving an 18 wheeler. <laughs> do you think, uh, do you think now that, do you think now that a lot of females that's coming into the game right now, do you think female drivers, uh, getting the same recognition as male drivers, or is it still one sided? Um, one sided. Why do you feel that way? Um, I feel that way because as female drivers, I feel like they don't treat us equally, and also they kind of doubt us anyway because this is a male dominant field. All right, so you drove. Uh, so you drove drive in. You drove reefer. Um, within the three years, how many companies you 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 been through within the within the three year period? with the exception of uh, CR England? I went to a family-owned company called Red Horse. Mm -hmm. And then I went, I drove for an owner op, probably like for a month, but I didn't like that. So All right. about, I would say about four companies. All right, all right. And now you are now you about to flatbed. What, what entices you to be, right. what, what entices you to be flatbedder? I want to try something different and something new. And I want to um, expand my horizon and get a feel for something else. And plus flatbed work, they say you can stay in shape with that. I like to put that back to stay in shape because normally I have to go to Planet Fitness and I can always go to Planet Fitness and stuff. But flatbed is going to keep you in shape and it's a lot of work. All right. Your name, uh, your name on your, uh, on your YouTube channel right here. Hold on right quick. Your name on your YouTube, on your YouTube channel right here, the Sassy Trucker. Uh, you do have a YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. When did you When did you start it? Uh, YouTube. I started YouTube about three months ago, but I had my account since August of last year. Okay. Okay. So where you come up with the name, the Sassy Trucker? up with that name because my friends they said I'm lively, bold, and full of spirit. Okay, okay, and full of sass. <laughs> um so <laughs> being so being a female so being a female driver, uh a black female driver, what's what's your life like as as being that? I I see one of you you have a video uh, of that, the life of a female trucker. But what is life like for you now? How how do your family feel about you being a truck driver? At first, my mom she didn't like it. She said it was dangerous, and she felt that I shouldn't do it. But now she likes it because this is more females in the game now. She's like, oh okay, okay, okay. So now she's like, oh, I like it now. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned earlier, you said you, you're, you're as a, you use a mom, uh, of how many kids? Thank you. Um, my mother, she has three kids. No, no, no. I said you, you, you have three kids. No, 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 I don't have any. Oh, kids okay. I thought I could have sworn. I thought I heard you earlier say that you was, uh, that you had three kids, but you came from a mother that had three kids. I, that's I what know. You, that's yeah. <laughs> that's what you said. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, are you the youngest of the? No problem. Are you the youngest of the three? I'm the oldest. Are oh, you the oldest of the three? Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Um, now that you've been in the game for three years, how's your backing? Has 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 your backing improved, or was was that was one of your uh, clutch that you had when you was uh, when you was uh, learning to drive and everything? Yes, it was my backing. It was my backing. My backing got a lot better. My curi my curiosity is Pete, back to back to your trainer at CR England. How much backing training did you get with two people in the truck? I didn't get much because my from one my trainer he was very impatient, mm -hmm. impatient. Mm -hmm. 
so with that being said, I now have the switching trainers, and I got a trainer that was very patient with me and taught me the backing skills that I needed. But then backing comes with time. So either way it goes, I learned on my own what time. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, before we get up out of here, I see you uh, You had a, a meet and greet. Uh, what was that, in Houston? Uh, the Black Truckers meet and greet? Dallas. That was in Dallas? Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. How, yeah. how how was that how how was that meet and greet for you? Uh coming to meet a uh vast vast different uh a vast number of drivers in, in the single home. <laughs> it was nice because I met a lot of different truck drivers from different walks of life and I was able to build a business connections with other people who are in the trucking field that gave me knowledge on the things that they knew about trucking. So it was a really good meet up. And I enjoyed it. All right. And everyone got along like they were family. All right. All right. Well, 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 well. We about to get on up out of here. We about to definitely get on up out of here. Man, thank you very much for coming on. Um, the Sassy Trucker. Let's see if I can get that <laughs> applause in. What uh what um what advice what advice would you have for for some of the newer females that's coming out in in this game uh what advice do you have for them um i would tell them to stay focused and don't give up and to keep their mind level headed because this can be a dangerous job and it is a meltdown in the field and it takes a lot of patience all right, all right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, again, Sassy Trucker, thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me on the Lockout Man podcast show, you can. You can do that. You know what I'm saying? Get at me in the Lockout Man podcast gmail at gmail.com. Or you can come over to the Instagram and look me up over there and hit me up over there at instagram that's all that good stuff if you like this content and more don't forget to like don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more content like this and don't forget the all button so you can receive it interviews will come out every wednesday and saturday now because it's a lot of them as you guys can see uh this is a special edition because it's being simulcast live with the lom community uh i want to say thank you to everybody that came in uh came into the chat uh jeanette b uh callie king don schuler bradley williams uh and jesus if you guys want to support the channel, you can do that by hitting me up with the Cash App. Hook a brother up with some coffee. You know what I'm saying? The Cash App link is in the description and in the text if you see it. And on that note, I'm going to let somebody play me out with other than the music that's playing right now. It's going to be a totally different music. Uh, again, thank you to the Sassy Trucker for coming on. And um, and we about to get on up out of here. You guys take it easy and I'll come back with you with another video. Peace. Yeah, 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 you effing with some wet ass P word. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. Give me everything you've got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up and catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Wipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to fry it. I do a kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet. I'm taking a dive. It continues. Uh, along these lines.
that starts. Start recording on that. Uh, banner. Let me see what. Hold on. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. We're going to bring that up. All right. The Sassy Trucker. All right. Ugh. All right, we about to uh we about to do this right now. Let me switch back to the banner. And I'm about to go live on that. And we about to get this party started with Mr. Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> 